Okay, welcome back to my channel. I am doing a um, get ready with me outside. We are doing a garage sale, the date night. Get ready with me. Me and Jack are supposed to be going out tonight, and we're doing a garage sale. So I'm doing my makeup out in the fresh air. Kira says it's a blessing in disguise because all these little cherry blossoms keep falling on me. So I guess the cherry blossoms are a blessing. I'm supposed to go when they fall on me and in my makeup and everything. I'm hoping that all works out. I've got Miss Katie over here laughing at me. <laughs> so, if you want to see me uh, dabble in all kinds of makeup and talk shit, then... And talk if, shit. Then <laughs> be right back. Then keep, then keep watching. Thank you. date night. I don't know if we're going to go out anywhere tonight. Um, if we do though, I want to you know, have makeup on. So we're going to do a get ready with me video. We're outside. We're in a garage sale. So you might hear banter from the children. You might hear banter from the neighbors. You might hear all kinds of fun stuff that we're finding out this morning. Anyway, so this is the time where I bitch about life, about people, about God knows why we just talk. So anyway, I'm going to prime my face. Because all y'all want to see that, right? That's why you're here. <laughs> As I drop it. As I drop it, so I'm using Neutrogena Shine Control Prime Primer because I'm oily as pack. Awesome. I'm using the Tarte Rainforest with Sea Foundation and it's really great, but it honestly smells like paint thinner. Come on. Kind of makeup. I mean, literally, like suitcases full of makeup, but yet I bugged this girl here about her little pal too. Can I borrow that lipstick? And she's like, No, okay. She's obsessed with this thing. Oh, dude. That's the naked, illuminated like illuminator palette and that thing is so pretty i'm not even lying it's by urban decay and it's so like pretty i don't know if you can really see it but it's a lot of sparkles it's really pretty it's super pretty hitting people we've done today is the neighbors. <laughs> <It's the neighbors. laughs> and this old man who keeps driving past in his truck he keeps going and i'm like dude do you want baby clothes? Do you want like a rocker and like a baby thing? What? I'm like, we do have a trailer for sale, but like, do you want that? I mean, really. So, you know, the one thing that's really been aggravating me this week that's been going around the YouTube interwebs or whatever is these huge YouTubers. And trust me, I enjoy watching the huge YouTubers. I do. I watch them all the time. He says let me waste them with my own time. Whatever, fine, I'll get them up in a minute. So anyways, these YouTubers, right? And I, I love watching these YouTubers. I do all the time. Okay, but, but. There you go. I hate it when these big YouTubers come out and they're like, oh look. That's the flower petals I was talking about. What I'm gonna do tomorrow. Okay, the big YouTubers come out and they're like, they talk about how, oh, I remember when I was poor and when I was doing these videos and I didn't have anything and blah, 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 blah. And, you know, I understand you and I understand all you middle class people out there and they're like making millions, right? What's that? That's Because they take chocolate. every friggin'. What? Nothing they take stuff. every like I mean, every makeup company that wants to come out and pay them to say that their makeup is great, they accept the payment for it, right? That's and it's one of those things where that. it's yeah. like this? On there, on there. On where? Bruh. It's one of those things where it's like, I'm sorry, but if you're gonna come out and tell me that you remember what it was like to be me, essentially, right? It's not chocolate. 
and you remember what it's like to be a normal YouTuber coming out here doing these YouTube videos, then when I message you, talk to you, whatever, why aren't you messaging Mac? If you know what it's like to be a normal YouTuber, she just kicked the camera. I'm sorry. If you know what it's like to be a normal YouTuber, and you know what it's like to be everybody else like us, then why don't you ever talk to anybody like us? How can we ever comment on any of our comments? How can we never reach out and talk to us? My ass, I'm sorry. Like, I watch Jacqueline Hill and all that shit, I do. Okay, and I have no problem calling out names. I watched Jacqueline Hill, and she came out with this video talking about how humbled she is and how much God has brought her to this place. Man, honestly, and she remembers how, what it was like and, and, and she feels for us people and all this stuff and I'm like, okay, so I'm gonna message her and she's gonna message me back, right? Because she understands what it's like to be us and she, you know, all this stuff, right? what it's like, right? I don't mind the truck. To be me and all this other crap. Okay, you understand what it's like to be me, right? So if I message you, you're gonna message me back like a normal person would, like any other normal YouTuber would. They message people back because they like to talk to other people, right? Yeah. I got just as ignored as anybody else would be talking to her because she's too fucking famous to come out and talk to people that made her famous. It's like, I'm sorry, if all of us lowly people that she says she understands the way, way we feel and who we are, just stop subscribing to her and stop watching her, where would she be? She wouldn't be here. I mean, honestly. And no, it's about Jacqueline Hill. It's like, I hate that she comes out and talks about how she's just like us and how she remembers being a new YouTuber and not having anything and how she understands us and this bullshit, but yet she won't answer anybody's messages. She like won't come out and answer nobody's messages. She won't even acknowledge that we alive. It's like these YouTubers, they get too big for their britches. You know what I mean? They get out there and they get really big and they don't answer their fans. They don't talk to people. They don't act like anybody exists and then it's one of those things like, okay, well, what if we all just stop watching you because you're an asshole? But, of course, none of us would do that because we all like watching what stupid makeup idea they're going to come up with next. What? Do we want to see the 50th smoky eye you have to show us this year? I mean, really. How many... They don't even do tutorials anymore. It's not even... It's not even this is how you do eyebrows. Or this is how you do eyeshadow. No, it's... This is how you do the 55th smoky eye I've taught you in the last month. With makeup you can't afford. With makeup that you'll never be able to have. You're not going to have all those makeup things that those people have. So they do it with things you can't afford or can't afford to buy or can't afford to even have. Then they expect you to be able to learn from that. They're called tutorials for a reason. You're supposed to be able to do it with things people can actually use. Like... Okay, like Nikia Joy, okay? She has a lot of followers, but she actually does tutorials, like how to do foundation on her face with oily skin, how to do eyebrows, how to do eyeliner, how to do this, how to do that, how, 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 how? That is a tutorial. Not, oh yes, I'm gonna show you a smoky eye with this brown that I haven't used in, in, in three weeks, but I used the other brown last, yesterday. Why do I need to see 55 different kinds of smoky eye? That's all they ever do. Smoky eye with nude lips. Smoky eye with red lips. Smoky eye with green lips. I mean, can we actually be taught something instead of, oh yes, we do a smoky eye with this shit you'll never be able to fucking afford. Just my opinion. Just my opinion. If Jacqueline Hill wants to prove me wrong, let her talk to me. I'd like to see her talk to me. That'd be, that'd be funny. You know what she'll do? Put out a video, and I'm like, I don't understand why people don't think I'm genuine because I really am. Yeah, and I'm a purple dinosaur with polka dots. Okay, I have got a off camera because.
because I was trying to do them on camera, they were taking forever, and you didn't want to see the kids with no talking forever, so. In my browser camera, so this isn't an actual tutorial, this is just me talking to you, so I don't have to show you yet. Just kidding. Just kidding. I am as real as they get, okay? The sun is out here, so you can see us in the sun. Sorry, the lighting isn't friggin' perfect. I don't have $500 worth of cameras out here. You can just see the real. Too many kids for that shit. Too many kids for that shit. You can see the real. The really real. Come on, come on. Come on. Mom, what? Today, I'm just talking about shit that irks my soul. So what, what exactly irks y'all? What bothers me? Let's talk about what bothers Katie. What bothers Katie in the world? These kids. <laughs> children are perfect. <laughs> Next subject. Remember, you know the girl who did her, her makeup with her boyfriend's ball sack? Have you seen that yet? <laughs> you gotta look it up. You got to look it up. It is hilarious. Hey, Dad, mom wants to do makeup with your dick tip. What? <laughs> mom wants to do makeup with your tip of your dick. <laughs> what? Mom wants to do makeup with the tip of your dick. No, I don't. Okay. Yeah. It's On got Twitter. That second world. Twitter, Instagram, everywhere. She straight did it, and it showed nut. Like you can see the veins. You can see the veins in this man's ball sack. Okay, seriously. <laughs> Whoever is seen this, comment down huh? there. Like you know, can see on her forehead. She's like, come here. <laughs> it worked too. It was funny as hell. It blended it out. Hey babe, can I do makeup with your boobs? <laughs> Her nipples are like, can I, 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 This is not for children today. <laughs> this conversation is for really little is right? I mean, I've had you set my face four times, maybe even more, with this chick. This two right here. Okay, right when here. I use Urban Decay, I set my face twice. Once before my makeup, once after my makeup, and it's done. This shit, I have to set it over and over and over again. I don't know why, but it is not as good, not even half as good. I bought it to see if it would work, and it just doesn't. Everybody knows it is Mickey's 19th birthday tomorrow, and we are planning a party. And she's getting aggravated. We won't tell her where. Oh, is the frustration real, Kira? Are we irritating your soul? Kira, Kira, are we irritating your soul? Kira, I haven't given her any hints, but I keep talking about Kira. Yeah, that's Anybody who hasn't tried this or any big YouTuber has tried to like stray you away from this saying that it doesn't work that good, model, 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 model. This shit is awesome. And the girl said the Urban Decay Naked Illuminated is awesome. And the girl said So if anybody tries to say that this stuff ain't good, they are lying. Just let me know. This is a real person, not sponsored by anything ever. If I was shit, I would welcome the money with all these kids. This is Baby awesome. Puppy. Just letting you know. Baby puppy. Baby puppy. Oh. You're a baby. No. And what's great about this stuff is this stuff isn't like that really, really compacted glow that you get from like, say like, now, Becca's Champagne Pop is really awesome. I don't own it, but I've heard it's really awesome. Yeah. It looks really great on camera, but who knows what it looks like in real life. But you know how it's like really compacted granules, and so you get like that glow that's like almost like a strobe well it shows off a lot of texture on your face if you have like oily skin like me so this is a lot less uh, you probably can't see that but you can see the glitters it's a lot less compacted it has like little that's really all, all it is is glitter it has like little it has some it has color too yeah it has color with like glitters in it and basically, it goes on your face really smooth, but it puts on like this glow that's like glittery and natural, and you can see it in the sun, you can see it everywhere, but it's not like going to basically make my face look 10 times more textured or 10 times more oily. That's why I love it. So, I'm gonna get all three colors. This actually belongs to her. 
I will buy all three colors when I can afford it. All these chillin', I can't really afford it. Urban Decay, you wanna, you wanna sponsor me in my videos? Then go ahead. Please do. Please do. I will wear all your makeup and tell them it's awesome because I already think it's awesome. Especially this highlighter. Especially this highlighter. Oh yes. I will pile this shit on for days. Because when I'm in front of a light, it's like... My face looks so shiny. So shiny. I'm like that's not like, like Moana. I'm so shiny. I have a lot of glows. And honestly, this stuff works the best for me because it doesn't show the texture in my face and it's great. I'm going to pile it on. And it looks gorgeous and it looks natural and, well, natural. It looks natural, but make every single, you know, texture of my face extremely. That's why I love it. And that's a real person with a real family with a real kid climbing on your couch telling you that this shit's great. You don't want to believe me? Don't. But you know what? I'm not sponsored. I'm not a millionaire. I don't have a million people or nothing. So I'll tell you the truth while those other people fucking lie to you. Just let you know. Not mentioning any names because I don't want to like put anybody out there, but they will lie to you because they're paid to. Now, if I was paid by Urban Decay to like review their makeup, I would review it and I would review this as an awesome product. I would review most of their shit as awesome, but if it was bad, I wouldn't tell you it was awesome. I don't care if, I, if they pulled their money or not. That's a lie. If they were paying me a lot of money, I'd probably tell you it was awesome, but I would at least tell you it was sponsored. Most of these freaking people out here don't even tell you it's sponsored. They're like, oh no, I'm not sponsored. I'm real. My ass, you're real. My ass, you're not sponsored. Come on. You boast freaking fancy ass cars and all this fancy light, this fancy shit, this, all this fancy crap that you ain't sponsored. And I ain't white. <laughs> Oh, the peach color, right? Finally, shut up. You just take as long as I do. I'm using. This is the very first. She's like, start having a family of 12. I included her in the family. I'm using this. This is the very first palette that Daddy or my husband bought me when I was getting into makeup. And I love this palette. I will constantly love this palette. If they ever discontinue this palette, I will cry because I won't be able they to get will. it again. It's I know, it's a limited edition. I actually need to go buy like two more of these so I always have it to put on my own eyeballs. Yeah. Fuck my clients, this is for me! Just kidding. Um, Just this, kidding, people. If you're my client, people. I will totally use this on you if you want. There's nine people in the house. But mostly, this is for me! Nine children! You know, honestly, I'm gonna put out there if Too Faced ever wants to fucking sponsor me. me I know too. I know I don't have <laughs> oh, right? I know I don't have a whole lot of followers, but trust me, I will. Okay, I don't have a whole lot of subscribers, but trust me, I will. When people see how real I am and people actually want to hear the truth, they'll follow me. But, the thing is, I love TV. Dad, can I play this? Dad, can I play this? I absolutely love it. And if it's a great palette, I will say it. If it's shitty, I'll say it too. But I am in love with TV. What you do? You know what? If you can't use Too Faced makeup or Morphe makeup or Urban Decay makeup for that matter, or any makeup for that matter, honestly, you shouldn't be a fucking makeup artist. I can take some makeup from the 98 Cent Store, which you'll see soon too, because I'm gonna do that challenge. Also, 99 Cent Store, whatever. I'll be doing that challenge too, and I will look fucking awesome. If you can't do makeup with any makeup out there, you are not a makeup artist. Just like if you can't drive any fucking car on the market, you're not a driver. Hate to break it to you, but y'all who can't drive six, y'all need to learn. So we have found we've lost things to complain about at the moment for the get ready with me. So I'm ready. I'm done. This is the look I was going for. This is what it looks like. It's really beautiful and flawless. And 
has like that Washing natural look about it. Dirty again. Natural lip, natural everything. I'm happy. Really nice and glowy. I'm happy with it. Um, so this is gonna be what I wear all day. If me and my husband go out tonight, this is what it's gonna look like. So I just hope you guys enjoyed it. You guys enjoyed the truth that we had to spill today. That it wasn't just like what everybody wanted to hear and blah blah blah. You will always get realness from us all the time. If it's funny, not funny, scary, or anything else. I wouldn't have your kids watch this considering it has a lot of profanity. Yeah. And a lot of things that children should not hear. Well, children that don't understand shouldn't hear. So, I uh, will see you next time. And, yeah. Uh, tomorrow is Dougie's head. So, you will see um, the cup challenge tomorrow. I don't know. What, what day is this one going up? This is the get ready Thursday. with me today. So, today. Yeah. This is going up sure. today. Okay, so it's Thursday. This is going up today. So, yeah, you will see Dougie's head tomorrow. And then we will be going live on Saturday from noon to 3 on you now under Mommy of Nine 2016. Come and join us. We'll all be there. We'll all be real. We'll all be funny. See you later. She'll be 19. So, uh, see y'all later. Bye.